Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to play Breach on Lotus and we will start right here when you are defending and the route just began and you want to try to play aggressive right here or you just want to win the control of this AMA. So what you can do, there's plenty of ways with Breach. First of all, you can shock inst instantly after shock this, so that way the enemies cannot go further and they will be only stuck in this corner. And if you want to follow it up, maybe if you're duelist you can dash out or Reyna who can push. If you want to do the aftershock, you can stun immediately the right side and you can even follow it up with a flash through this. It really depends on the situation, on which characters the enemies have. If they have a jet, they might try to go all the way there. So in that case, I would just recommend simply stunning and trying to fight it here. So that way you can uh, isolate this 1v1 with the guy right here. Or you can be simply pushing from the doors. If you want to be pushing through the doors, there is uh, one thing that you should know. If you open the doors, the flash can get sometimes bugged, as you can see, and it won't flash anyone on the other side if you use it on the corners right here. So, to avoid this, one of the best ways that you can do simply open the doors and flash this not moving top, just like that. Another benefit of it, it right is that it is gonna blow up right here and it would flash anyone who would be even further even if they would be waiting for the opening doors and they would be expecting flash right there and if you flash right there, even if they are crouched, usually you would still get them and as you can see, if you use it even higher, you can maybe get the guys who might be here waiting for you so this is another benefit when you are opening doors, you can do this at the beginning of the round to get some early aggression if the enemies are on site, you can try to either deny the plant with your aftershock you can use it on this wall which is facing you forward as you can see, it would go through both of these walls and still deny the plant on either side depending on where you play is the aftershock as you can see you can place it a bit further and it still would hit anyone who would be standing right here one of the best things that you can do if you are on a you can just simply ult it as you can see it covers most of the site and if you ult it for example from here it will go all the way to the tree and it would be super easy to retake it of course when you are pushing you can simply do your flashes for example through this floor or simply on these back walls anywhere in these areas but you should be careful about this spot, you can use your aftershock, stun or even flash to get the to get yourself in position first before before you wanna ult or do anything else so that way there's no one standing here trying to catch you off guard. Another great thing with breach, if you even if you plant it right here, you can be playing post plant even with breach aftershock, for example, like this. So the, if the enemy would be diffusing, you can try to do damage to him through this wall, even if the spike was planted all the way here in the corner. And the same thing works from the tree, as you can see. Just like that, it would still reach and still do damage and get the enemies of the of the site. Or and then you can just simply flash through it and try to catch these guys who might be playing here. When you are attacking, you can use this wall for simple flashes, which you can use also when you are defending. And with this flash, you pretty much always blind anyone who'd be right here on mid, and you can get the control of mid as super easily. Or you can be flashing through this thing right here, if the enemies tend to play more on the left side and they are further. However, if you flash here, usually anyone who'd be close on the right is not gonna get flashed. So you can use it, use your, for example, stun there. Or you can stun this spot, depending how you, how you want to do it. And the same thing works with the doors. If you want to push through them, you can either right flash on the right, right or on there. top, depending what you what you would prefer. And still, it would right blow there. up either right here. And anyone who'd be holding doors, I would suggest you flash right into there. the more to the right, right since enemies would be always watching the doors. And if there's anyone on tree, even all the way here in the back, right and if there. you can do the flash as far as you can, you can you are most likely to reach right there. there and you are gonna flash the guy who will be even behind this tree you can then spam it through this through this thing since it's very easily well bangable as you can see you may want to try to be aggressive on b as well since as you can see the line right, right here there. is perfectly built for it you can for example stun like that go here you can aftershock the left side and have your teammates you can even flash through this fall right there so that your teammate can simply push it as you can see it would blow up right here and anyone who'd be right, right in these areas is gonna get stunned once again i would recommend you flashing more to this corner though since it would cover more of the area 
and it's very simple when you are pushing right here just simply flash firstly through this through this wall so that way you can clear these close corners or if you know that the enemies don't really try to push that and be aggressive just simply flash through this wall and you can do multiple flashes when you are pushing so that the enemies who are on site are gonna be are gonna be blind the whole time B and also I would like to say that the B is perfect for the ult as you can see all you really need to do is place your smokes right there and you are good to go since anyone on site is gonna get ulted super easily and it'll be super easy for you to get there also you can be using your aftershock right through this thing right here so that way you clear the left area so that where no one is standing there and they would have to peek you or if the doors are not broken it would be usually lethal for them and that they would die if they sphink you and of course you can use this area if the spike is planted anywhere in these areas simply once again use your aftershock at that spot and you can do a lot of damage to anyone who is defusing when you are retaking very simply just use your flashes on the walls since they are pretty much built for it if you are coming out of here i would recommend flashing at this corner just be aware that anyone can be hiding in this corner it is, it is usually unchecked and the player right here can do a lot of damage since this is a great red, red corner to play and you would usually just swing out not even looking that way if you are playing breach right here on C, I would rather play it passively than be more aggressive with it. However, there are still plenty of ways that you can use your flashes. For example, very simply through the through the wall all the way here. You wanna flash as high as you can, for example, like that. So that way the flash flashes all the way here, and anyone who'd be in this area, even behind the mount in any spot is gonna get flash so that's one of the ways or you can be even trying to flash through this through this thing right there that's why the enemies would usually expect you to swing out from this corner and they wouldn't have to be looking in in your way right here and if you are attacking simply at the beginning of the round you wanna stun the corner right here just like that so that way anyone who'd be right trying to maybe up there or echo pq he's gonna get stunned and would have to fall back you can always try to as, as well flash through this right so that way it will blind anyone on this corner right there as you can see just like that super easy and when you are coming to the site if you kept your stun you can right either uh, i would recommend right clearing the backside right there just like that since it's usually annoying for and very common for enemies to be blind here so that way they would get stunned and you can follow it up with your flash very simply once again through this wall on the top and as you can see this flash would get anyone on site just like there for this back side you can also use your use your aftershock you can use it even on this box as well just like that so that way it would clear the box 100% and still do damage on anyone who is backside if the enemies are planting and you are right most likely smoked off, you can use your aftershock in these corners since it is a very common spot for enemies to be in and plant there just like that so that way it would get them in these corners super easy and once again it can reduce some valuable time which you would have at, at a retake. take also seaside is great for ulting as you can see the breach is probably one of the best characters right here and if you ult like this you can ult the whole site just be careful there there is there are a few spots that it won't get them for example right this corner so be aware of it as you can see on the minimap or if i show it on the big map you can see that these corners are not gonna get stunned even unless you move very far away just like that then you can cover it so have that in mind anyone on site would be would be ulted and you can for example even follow up with your ult and then stun to the left so that way anyone who was not on site is still it still got him so super easy to do and it is very very effective to play breach right here i would really recommend that i would say it's one of the best characters to play here since his utility is very valuable and very beneficial for a team team environment right here i hope this video is gonna help you guys don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and see you guys soon bye